Hello there! Today we'll be taking a look at all the attractions at Hong Kong Disneyland. If this is your first time visiting Disney Parks Attic, I like to make videos about all the Disney parks around the world. So if that's something you'll be interested in, then consider subscribing now to keep up to date with all my future content. First, I'll be taking a quick look at all the attractions that can also be found at other Disney parks. And then I'll take a deeper look into the exclusive attractions that can only be found at this wonderful Disney Resort. At the end of the video, I will take a peek at all the attractions that will be coming over the next few years. So be sure to stick to the end of the video to see these exciting new additions. Let's start with the attractions and shows on Main Street, USA. The first two attractions as you enter the park on the right is the Animation Academy and the Art of Animation. Animation Academy is where you can learn to draw your favourite Disney characters, along with a Disney animator. Although the presentation is only in Cantonese, it can still be enjoyed by everyone. The Art of Animation is an exhibition of the different animation techniques used by Disney throughout the years using theatre presentations and interactive exhibits. I wouldn't rush to do these attractions as you enter the park, but they are great activities to do later in the day. Moving on to the biggest adventure land in any of the Disney parks, which features many of the fan favourite attractions. The Jungle River Cruise is offered in three different languages and has some unique elements, including a waterfall on fire, but no backside of water. The Festival of the Lion King is a show featuring many different types of performances as well as all your favourite songs to sing along to. It has some elements in Cantonese but can still be enjoyed by all guests. The last attraction in Adventureland is Tarzan's Treehouse, which is on Tarzan's Island. It can be accessed by rafts similar to Tom Sawyer Island in Disneyland. It is a walkthrough attraction with many different characters and secrets that can be found throughout this amazing treehouse. Moving on to Toy Story Land, which was added in 2011. It's very similar to the Toy Story Playland at Walt Disney Studios Park in Paris and the newly built Toy Story Land in Shanghai Disneyland. It features three attractions, RC Racer, a steel shuttle roller coaster, which gives you some high thrills for such a simple ride. Slinky Dog Spin, a caterpillar style ride, which is a great way to introduce younger children to thrill rides. And Toy Soldier Parachute Drop, which hoists guests up an 80 foot tower before gently tumbling back down to earth in a series of rises and falls. It is also a great way to get that amazing view of the park and its surroundings. Now on to Fantasyland. Here you can find some of the Disneyland classic attractions like Dumbo the Flying Elephant, a flying carousel style ride, Mad Hatter Teacups, the infamous spinning teacup ride, and the popular Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, a dark ride featuring all the lovable characters from the books and animations. This ride is one of the only two attractions that offers fast pass, as it can get quite busy throughout the day. Another opening day attraction is the 4D show Philhar Magic an awesome 12-minute animation with added effects, scents and water, and featuring Donald Duck and Minnie Mouse. The Dark Boat Ride It's a Small World was added in 2008 and features 38 Disney characters as well as an expanded Asian section to represent more local nationalities. The last original Disneyland area is Tomorrowland, which since 2016 has had a Star Wars takeover overlay and due to its popularity has stuck around. Space Mountain is now Hyperspace Mountain with a full-size X-Wing in the queue line as well as Star Wars theme throughout the ride. There is also a Star Wars command post where you can meet Chewbacca and BB-8 as well as a Jedi Training Academy for younger guests to train to be a Jedi and fight Darth Vader. The last classic attraction is the spinning spaceship ride Orbitron similar to the Astro Orbiter that can be found at other Disney parks. I will now move on to the five unique attractions and nighttime entertainment that can be found in Hong Kong Disneyland. Sticking with Tomorrowland, the first ever Marvel attraction in a Disney park 
arrived in 2017 in the form of Iron Man Experience, a 3D motion simulator very similar to Star Tours, which has guests fighting alongside Tony Stark with the story taking place at the Stark Expo in Hong Kong Disneyland, and also the city of Hong Kong. If you're a Marvel fan, it is sure not one to be missed. In 2019, they added another Marvel attraction into Tomorrowland with a complete overhaul of Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. Ant-Man and the Wasp Nano Battle is still a shooting dark ride, but you fight alongside the two mini superheroes while you get smaller and smaller, as you fight Arnim Zola and his army of Hydra Swarm bots. It uses the latest in laser technology for better precision shooting, and the overall feel of the ride is definitely better than its predecessor. Now to the other side of the park, two unique lands were added in 2012 and 2013. Grizzly Gulch was the first and is stylistically similar to Frontierland, albeit a bit smaller. It only features one attraction, but it's the best roller coaster in the park. Big Grizzly Mountain Runaway Minecars is similar to Big Thunder Mountain, but also shares some similarities to Expedition Everest due to it having a backwards portion and rock and roller coaster with its high speed launch. It is a must ride for any thrill seeker. The other new land is Mystic Point, which also only features one attraction, but it's the best in the park. The Haunted Mansion styled ride, Mystic Manor, is a trackless dark ride which has incredible theming and a deep backstory that will make you want to ride it over and over. This was the birthplace of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers which is now being used to link many different attractions and restaurants in other Disney parks around the world. Also with music produced by the legendary Danny Elfman, this is a great ride not to be missed. The final unique attraction is Mickey and the Wondrous Book, a 28-minute stage show that can be found in the Storybook Theatre in Fantasyland. This wonderful show features Mickey and Goofy discovering a magical book which transports them into some classic Disney stories, including The Jungle Book and Aladdin. Each section features a few characters and songs from different movies, making it entertaining for guests of all ages. All the songs are in English, but the spoken lines are in Cantonese, but with English subtitles projected onto screens. This is a great show unique to Hong Kong Disneyland, and it's the best show in the park. There are currently two nighttime shows that both originated at Hong Kong Disneyland. We Love Mickey is a projection show that transforms Main Street into a canvas of vibrant colorful visuals to a backdrop of pumping electronic music. Stick around to the end to see a special guest appear at the bottom of Main Street. The final show of the evening is Paint the Night, an electric light parade that flows down Main Street. A total of seven floats and 740,000 individual LED lights making this a dazzling show. You can even buy merchandise that is programmed to change color along with the performance, so guests can become part of the show. Now it's time to take a quick look at what's coming to Hong Kong Disneyland over the next few years. If you have visited the park over the last year, then you will know that the castle is under renovation into the Castle of Magical Dreams, which as you can see here has been inspired by a variety of cultures and styles and will pay homage to 13 of the much loved Disney princess stories. This summer, on its completion, it will also bring a new daytime show and nighttime spectacular, so we look forward to seeing all those once construction is completed. In Tomorrowland, alongside the current two Marvel attractions, will be the new e-ticket Avengers Quinjet attraction, which is due to be completed by 2023. I'm unsure if it will be an exact replica of the attraction currently being constructed at Disney California Adventure, but from what we have seen of it so far, it looks like it will be worth the wait. The last new thing that is coming to Hong Kong Disneyland and the most anticipated is the completely new land of Arendelle World of Frozen. It will feature Frozen Ever After, which can already be found in Epcot at Walt Disney World, 
as well as an exclusive attraction, Wandering Oaken Sliding Sleighs, which will be a roller coaster similar to the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Frozen lands are also being constructed at Tokyo Disney Sea and Walt Disney Studios in Paris, but Hong Kong's will be the first to open, so Disney fans are eagerly awaiting its arrival. So that rounds up all the current and incoming attractions at Hong Kong Disneyland. Let me know in a comment down below which are your favorite attractions at this wonderful park. And if you want to see my tier list video ranking all the attractions from this video, then click the link at the end screen or in the pinned comment down below. I will be making videos like this for all the Disney parks around the world, so consider subscribing to Disney Parks Addict to keep up to date with all my future content. Thanks for watching.